Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, Todd the Cheap Drums Guy. Sorry if I look a little tired. It's been a long day. Um, those of you who watch any of my videos remember me talking about my little sound percussion lab kit. Uh, it was a four-piece kit, and then I had a 16-inch add-on floor tom. Uh, how I was thinking about selling it, getting rid of it, or exchanging it, or, do, or, or something to do with it. Um, well, I decided to keep it, and I found an issue with the bass drum that I had to take care of which was the wrap was starting to bubble. The add-on floor tom was already a different color. It was maroon, while the rest of the drums are black. So I decided, well, if I'm going to keep it, I'm going to change this. So I stripped it. And let me show you what I got. This is her. Now, it's a Sound Percussion Lab four-piece kit, and the 16 here is the add-on. <clears throat> They're all poplar drums, and... Poplar is a is a fairly light wood. It's decent tone wood, and it looks beautiful when you put a clear coat over top of it. Now, the drums did have issues with the wrap, so I did pull those off. Uh, they were only uh, glued at uh, the first part that touched the drum, and then at the end of it, the rest of it wasn't it, uh, adhered at all. So it came off pretty easily, and the rest of the adhesive was just able to uh, rub off with the finger, but this still looked a little discoloration. And so I sanded it down a little bit. Then I got a wild idea to try to do a little fade. Even though I was going to do a clear coat, I tried doing uh, a light purple fade from the top down and it didn't turn out too well. So I had to sand that off. And I just decided to stick with the original color underneath. And that's what I have here. I mean, is it perfect? Oh no. Uh, is there scratches and parts I messed up? Oh yes, most assuredly. However, it looks still, it looks pretty good, I think. And if you notice, the snare's a little different because when I did that one, I did have a little bit of stain in the garage. I believe it was called honey oak or something to that effect. And I gave it a shot, put it on the snare, and it looks actually quite beautiful. I only put one coat of clear on that. I wasn't going to be one of those guys on youtube where he you see a, a 30 minute video of him putting on one layer sanding it putting on another layer sanding that I, no that wasn't me i don't mind uh matte finish and that's what i got even though i got a semi-gloss on there but just one coat and those of you who are wondering what to do or you want to change the look of your drums you know instead of like wondering about getting new wraps actually let me i'll talk about wraps in a second or painting them, you know, why not just try a clear coat? The drums have beautiful wood. Most of these shells, uh, these shells on this kit, even though it was very inexpensive, were beautiful. And they still are quite beautiful as much as I screwed it up. But, well, you know, it still looks pretty nice. But, you know, instead of worrying about what kind of paint job to do on it, why not just keep it clear and put a, a coat of clear over top of it? You know, protect the wood. Now, speaking of drum wraps, I also thought about wrapping these, <clears throat> but I am not going to buy a $250 set of wraps for an inexpensive drum set like this. What you can do is go on to Amazon, and they have contact paper, and some of it's used to uh, redo cabinets, you know, on the inside of cabinets, and also on the outside, they have super gloss uh, contact paper. And instead of paying 250 bucks, you could do a whole drum set with this for under $30. And you get a whole bunch of different colors. There's different patterns and whatnot. And somewhere down the road, maybe next year or so, if, if I grow tired of just having the plain, the plain wood that I do here, I can always easily put a couple of coats of uh, paint over top of it or wrap it. And it's not going to hurt anything. Except you got to go through all that hassle of taking everything off again. Which, ugh, thank God for power tools. But anyways, that's what my Sound Percussion Lab kit looks like right now. And it'll probably be, when I do a video this weekend, I'll probably have that set up. And uh, you can see it under the lights a lot better. But anyways, I'm Todd the Cheap Drums Guy. And you people have a good day.